CONA's nomination for the UNESCO World Heritage list, it's uh, not about the architectural style itself. It's, uh, it tells the story of the whole uh, region, let's say, of the Central and Eastern Europe of that time of the interwar period. We are standing now at the site of the Chemical Research Laboratory. And this is a building of seminal importance uh, because uh, it is uh, uh, complying with the Western Europe understanding of the functionalistic architecture. Organic Chemistry uh, Research Laboratory. And here we can see uh, numerous installments that are in place remaining from 1935. They have these individual openings uh, to conduct uh, experiments inside. The heritage specialist uh, encouraging the use of the historical buildings so that they don't turn into museums, but they are being used every day. As you can see, uh, Kona's modernism is uh, very special because it's not a pure form of modernism. It, uh, it comprised a lot of uh, different elements from traditional architecture, from traditional arts, and uh, blended them together. And this mixture makes Kona's modernist legacy unique. This is the operations hall. This is uh, the area for the customers. And you see an authentic interior. Uh, what is interesting is just the glass ceiling. Uh, the ceiling is framed and divided into caissons. Kaison, and there are 20 different pictures created by famous Lithuania artist. And this is uh, it's very important that this Bank's ceiling is the first place where Lithuania is uh, depicted not only like agricultural country, but also urban and industrial country. I believe that uh, it's a great um, testimony of, of those times of that era and Kaunas uh, is uh, a unique example uh, that tells uh, the story of, of the whole uh, region.
people who live here. They were Kolnes Jews, and it's very important for us also to share uh, their lifestyle and how they lived here and how their life uh, ended, which is a, it's a trage tragedy that happened here. This house in Soviet Union was made into communal, and so uh, three families lived in this one apartment. It was uh, divided into three segments and three families till 1990. They used one bathroom and one kitchen here. It was, um, you know, the era of optimism when uh, um, the old empires collapsed and newly established states uh, were developing it, their own um, fates, let's say. They were um, building their identities and um, many of them embraced um, modernist architectural, um, architectural style as, uh, as their own identity as a, a mean of expression. Uh, 